know you can see you, right? You know that all of this is on the internet and the internet's forever. So while you believe you can delete videos, there's ways to access them. Exhibit A. Yo, what's up, all my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy, Jay Mendez. Um, I'm, uh, I'm making this video because it's something that I have to do. I made a video before where it was like I was talking about being labeled a narcissist. You know, I, uh, so I had a, a conversation with Quinn, who is, uh, who was like a personal hero of mine. You know, and uh, he, he put me on game, you know, he, he gave me the truth. And he said that, you know, as of lately, my moves online have been narcissistic. They look narcissistic. And as a result of that, I've lost my friends. I lost my ex. And uh, they all they all think I'm a narc. And so this is me coming on to this uh, video to say that I'm really sorry if... Uh, Here's the truth. Here's the God honest truth. I had a breakup with somebody that I really love and I didn't know how to handle it. So I came back and I started acting funny because I was hurt so bad. And it's no it's nobody's fault, it's my fault. You know what I mean? It's my fault. I came back. I was hurt. So what I wanted to distract myself. Instead, what I was doing was acting like I was some kind of a playboy. Which wasn't the intention. The intention was just to show that I was doing okay and that I wasn't hurting. But the truth of the matter is, is that I was hurting. And I'm still hurting. And I just didn't know how to handle it. So I started acting out and everything, and then I made a couple of videos. Today I uh, reached out to my ex and asked, do you really think I'm a narcissist? And she said, yes, yeah, you are a narcissist. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, like, this broke my heart. And I tried to reach out to everybody to see what was wrong, but little by little people just kept blocking me. And there's a, there's a truck that keeps honking its horn. And I'm hurt, but I promise you guys, I'm not, I'm not a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist. I'm a good person. Um, since I've been back in New York, all I've been thinking about is my ex. I had a couple of friends that I vented to because I was hurt. And I, and I just, with, you know, some of it with hopes that someday she would come back. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very honest with you. And it just seemed like I was just losing it. You know? A little bit of what I uh, experienced, I didn't know how to take it. You know what I mean? Like, I, of uh, when her and I interacted again and we spoke. Um, and I just, I miss her. I'm not gonna lie, I miss her. You know? So I just, you know, I just wanna say I'm sorry to everybody out there. For the people that I hurt, for the people who looked at me and thought that I was making sucker moves, you know, I was being narcissistic, you know, you're right. I guess I was being narcissistic. But I don't want my legacy to go out, people thinking that I'm some malignant narcissist who plays games. I wasn't trying to play games. Truth of the matter is, for the last month and change, I've been heartbroken. Heartbroken. That's it. That's just the way I feel. It's nobody's fault. It's me. I'm telling you, I've just been heartbroken because I lost somebody that I love, that I do love, and that I still love. And I know she probably thinks I'm a narcissist right now. And that's why she blocked me. And all my other friends who I thought like were real close to me and that had love for me blocked me. It's because I was making moves and I was and I didn't have any self-control. I'm just really sorry, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. I really, really am sorry. 
And, uh, you know, I said this before, you know, I, I definitely got to go and, uh, you know, talk to a therapist about, you know, like my, my issues and stuff like that, you know, but I'm a good dude. And I just, uh, I just want to, I just want to move forward from this. I know there's a lot of people who are looking at me right now saying, yeah, he's a narcissist and everything. And I can't change your mind. All I can say is I'm sorry. So, you know, my friend Sheena, please, if you can, reach out to me. I love you to death. You're my homegirl, you know, and I've only talked positive about you and everything. To my ex, if you see this, I'm really, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I've made you feel inadequate. It was never my intention. My intentions was to always make you feel safe. And, and I thought from the bottom of my heart I was treating you good. But at the very end, you felt some type of way about me. And I, I guess you saw some things about me that triggered you and made you feel like I was doing pulling narc moves. And I promise you, my intentions with you was always to be protective and to be keep it real. To Quinn Holiday, thank you for the talk. You know, you put me on game. Let me know, you know, real deal. Like I was pulling some moves that was that just didn't look good and I just hope I hope from the bottom of my heart that I can that I can you know be able to talk to these people I hope I can talk to Sheena I hope I can talk to you know my ex I hope I can talk to my peoples because everybody I tried to reach out to today just blocked me they wasn't trying to hear me and uh and I'm sorry and you guys have known me for so long, you know that I'm not a narcissist. You know that I'm not a narcissist. This is me burying my soul out here. I'm not a narcissist, you know? This social media thing has fucked me up because it's the only thing that I was holding on to that made me feel important. Every time my ex looked at one of my stories or every time somebody would say something to me um, about, oh, you're doing a good job, it made me feel important. You know, so I was seeking the validation. But guys, I'm really, I'm really not a narcissist. Please don't put that label on me. I fought so hard and, and, and I have helped a lot of people and a lot of y'all have helped me too, but I got my issues and I'm trying to deal with them. But please, 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 please forgive me. If I've offended you, if I hurt you, if I pulled some shitty moves, please forgive me. I'm asking this from the bottom of my heart as I'm truly sorry for the way I've been behaving. I hope y'all can forgive me, you know, and uh, I hope y'all can see me as a source of inspiration in the future. Um, I'm back in New York and I'm going to tell you right now, like, as far as my ex goes, I miss her and I, and I, feel, I feel lonely and I feel like, like I lost something deep, you know what I mean? As far as my friends go, like, I feel like I let people down and people were, I guess, little by little kind of cut me off and I can sense that people were getting tired of me. I was venting and everything, but I always looked at my ex like she was good. So, I don't know what else to say. I I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I'm just putting this out there. I took down that last video because it, you know, it came off like I was being vindictive. I wasn't trying to be vindictive. I'm just trying to get my name back to where people can see me for who I really am. If you've known me for the whole time, you know that I'm not a narcissist. You know that I'm a good person. I just want you to see that. You know, lately what I've been doing is is uh, is, is acting out, and and I'm sorry. You know, I'm a grown ass man, and I need to man the fuck up. I just hope that y'all can see this and, and really see that I'm being honest. And that's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna need some more popcorn. <laughs>